I've had a request here from this chap here, Big Mac, to see if I can give him some ideas of how to make a shallow cone uh, with an angle to the horizontal of uh, 5 degrees. Uh, it's about, uh, what's he got, a 100mm diameter hole in the middle uh, and about 600mm diameter. Well, yes, there's several ways to do this. I um, can think of a few. Now, the one I'm going to propose, I'm just going to show how to generally make a cone with a with a piece of material, fairly thin material. I'm not sure about uh, his quarter inch plywood, I don't know how flexible that is. But uh, I'll show how to model it. So I'm going to make a reasonable sort of uh, lampshade cone. The first thing I'll start with is a centre line for the thing. We'll use a construction line. Now there's a slight difference between construction lines and ordinary lines. One of them being that when you draw a construction line and click at the end, it doesn't continue to want to draw the lines. That's it. Just draw one. So that's our construction line. And I'm going to make this cone have a two inch hole in, in the middle of it. So I'm going to put a radius here, just a construction radius. 25 tab. Already zero there, so um, escape. Now this is going to be part of our cone from the end of there. Let's make this uh, 100. 100. Now we can set this angle at whatever I like. We'll just That's going to be the extent of our shade. Offset curve. We'll just take that and I'll make it. What shall we make it? Uh, let's make it six millimeters. As though we're going to make this out of plywood. It's a bit thick, up, but let's do it. Now, Big Mac wanted some grooves in, so we'll put some grooves in at this point. So if that's the centre. We'll put a, a six millimetre circle. And we'll have another one around here. Six. Trim. And now we're going to need late for later. We're going to need a few extra things. For example, we'll need a construction line from there down to here. Now this must be in line with the cone of our lampshade, which it is 180 there. You see, and from that point. Well, oh, we need another, from the junction we need a horizontal line. Now we see a little green right angle there at this at the junction point where it's saying 39.1 but there's a, li a little green rectangle which indicates that the line I'm drawing is at right angles to the vertical. Which is just what we want. Now sweep arc, 
And you find that junction point again. And shoot an arc from there to there. And again, an arc from there. While we're at it, we'll sweep arcs also from there to there. Uh, now that we've got that, we can delete a few things. Choose trim. We can delete these lines. And we can now draw in the lampshade in this position. Six. And we'll put in our grooves six. Trim away what we don't need. At this point we can see what our lampshade will look like. P for pull tool. Revolve. Select access to rotate. There it is. And we want full rotation over here. Hopefully that's what our lampshade is going to look like. And that is the end of part one. Please stand by for part two.